Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you my telepon that I built yesterday for my two baby radiant sliders. This is the third time I'm trying to record this as my stupid grandma has actually been interfering a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough through this um, small telepon. Now this telepon is actually made for fish but I, I'm rearranged it and modified it a little bit to cope with turtles and stuff. So I'm gonna go through what they where they live first. And this is just as I mentioned a small fish pond that I converted into a turtle pond. Um this gravel area underneath it, it's not all gravel, it's actually styrofoam underneath it. And yeah, this styrofoam that allows us to save our gravel. So then and this gravel is too big for them to eat. The big ones like this chunk are too big for them to eat. So yeah, this is the land area, and over there, here, you see a blue shelter that is made from a part of cowboy gate board, if I'm not wrong, and also with a disposable chopstick to hold it down, there's also, and it fills as shelter, so if you don't want to be out in the sun all day, you can just hide under there, but still be out there. Now this is the water area, it's just a a white storage cup from IKEA and I just filled it up with dechlorinated water. You can never use um, tap water unless you treat it with chemical, unless you treat it with um, something from the store that is like turtle safe or aqua safe, something. Or you could just leave a bucket of tap water outside for 24 hours and then the chlorine and all the harmful chem chemicals will dissipate into the air and you can use it. So, yeah, let's go over. So then I just fill it up with a bit of um, dechlorinated water. This is um, pieces of romaine lettuce. I leave it in there for them to eat when they want to. And it also is actually good for them as um, it provides them with a secure feeling as they can hide under it and stuff. And this white turtle makeshift thing is actually um, a medicine kind of treatment that releases calcium into the water that and actually prevents or cures soft shell of the turtles which is a very um, fat it's actually fatal to a turtle because if the shell gets soft and try to, let's say a bird comes along and scoops it out the bird can crush the shell and get to the turtle already. now my two baby related sliders are under there and they miss squirt and make this and they're hiding under a piece of um, styrofoam board that is held down by two rocks, one on each side and I'm not sure if they can go up styrofoam or not but I haven't seen them try they always go down if I put them up there and they're behind there so I'll see if I can fish them up oh my god okay never mind. they pushed it down Okay, so this is Magnus, one of my baby rated sliders. He is cute as ever and he loves that blue corner. But now he wants to go to the water. Oh, never mind. He likes to go to the land. And this is Squirt, my other baby rated slider, also known as RES turtles. They like to hang out in the water area. But whenever I put them on land, most of the time they stay up there for a little while, then they go back into the water. But for now, they like the water. shyer than um, Squirt as he was the um, the one that took the longest to get into the water. I put them on land and he and he stayed on land for about half an hour before it darted right into the water. But Squirt when I put him in here he darted he went right for the water and he jumped in munching on the lettuce halfway before running off into the water. Before swimming off in the water underneath the staff room. So now, now that I've gone through everything, <laughs> now that I've gone through everything, I wanna do.
something that most people don't know. If they don't tell you um, what kind of how they change the water and stuff. So, okay, most of them do. I never said all of them. So water changes for this for this turtle pond is actually really easy. All you have to do is take out the turtles, put them on land, pick out the styrofoam board and whatever lettuce are floating around. Um, take this this whole tub is actually removable. It's removable and it allows me to take out the the whole entire um, white storage tub. There's that serves as water here. Actually, um, change the water, just dump all the water out, fill it with dechlorinated water. And that's what makes water changes a snap, and that's why I don't need a filter. Oh yeah. A great system that I thought of. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my turtle pond. Oh yeah, wait, I still have what I feed them. Let me go back inside. And this pond is outside. It's an outdoor turtle pond. So this is what I feed them with. Feed them with candidate food. But sometimes I feed them with mealworms, crickets, and I just sprinkle the crickets with a little bit of calcium powder. And then also I just dump them into the tank, into the pond. They love it. And also the veggies that you saw in the eating. Yes, it won. I hope it's not to Oh, this is enough. Sorry, just my grandmother. Okay, so that's pretty much a recap of everything. It's just a small turtle pond that I converted. Small fish pond that I converted to turtle pond. And it's a basic setup, but it's effective as water changes make it easier. There's this kind of method makes water, water changes easier. And also, um, in the near future, I'm going to be adding a few more decorations, like maybe a branch block here too, and a plastic plant over here, something. But that, but this is pretty much the main base of the pond. If I have any updates, I'll tell you guys, and see you guys later. Bye.